Right after he was born, they noticed his breathing was a little bit labored, so that's when they had taken him down to the NICU to assess him and see if he needed to be admitted. It was a shock. Yeah. Um, I mean, we felt comforted because of the level of care and, and attention that we had from the nurses. Austin was born three weeks early. He spent five days in the Owensboro Health Regional Hospital's NICU to clear fluid from his lungs. While there, the nurses and Austin's mother used equipment provided through Crusade funding. For example, here is our shuttle. This piece of equipment is um, really high tech. What it allows us to do is it allows us to attach onto um, this device, a giraffe or an um, incubator, and we do that in the delivery room and it has all of the um, supplies that we need to continue to support an infant that might be in respiratory distress. Dr. Bashirs also notes the importance of the kangaroo care chair. Science has proven that um, babies do much better when they're able to do skin to skin and kangaroo care with their moms. Without the WHIS Crusades funding, we wouldn't be able to have this upgraded technology. It allows us to keep our babies closer to the families here in our community and give them the same care that they would get in a larger facility. He's in the 67th percentile for his height. At eight months old, Austin shows no ill effects from being born prematurely. He's doted on by his older sisters and his parents celebrate as he tries to take his first tottering steps. Oh. <laughs> we felt very fortunate uh, that we were able to take him home as quick as we did. Yeah. Good job, bud. <laughs>